Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins and in this video I want to go over how to create this whip pan effect in Final Cut Pro 10. But this whip pan effect is also included with a sliding freeze frame. So as you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like. Now of course you already saw it in the intro, but this is what the effect looks like. It creates, this, the background is basically creating like a whip pan. The background is, is creating a whip pan while this subject right here is basically frozen and it's sliding into place as you can see right there and then the video continues. So you have this freeze frame that's sliding and basically lining up with the video right there while the background is also moving. So it's definitely a really cool effect. Definitely takes a lot of time. I've never really seen anybody do this effect before. I've seen different varieties and I want to kind of put it together into my own little effect. So we'll call it the sliding freeze frame whip pan. That's the best name I can come up with. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create three different copies. Now as you can see right here, this is right here is a copy. Now this is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial like all of my other tutorials are more of editing breakdowns. So the first thing is you want to create three copies. So this right here is a compound clip. So let's op open up the compound clip right here. And as you can see, it says original one, original two. So you're going to start with this clip right here, original one, you're going to create, you're going to hold down option and you're going to create a copy. So these two are copies of each other. As you can see right here, four minutes and 11 seconds. I mean, uh, four seconds and what, 11 milliseconds, I think that's the technical term, as you can see right there, and then these are the exact same time, and they're the exact same clips. Now what you wanna do, and I'll do my best to kind of make sense, what you're gonna do is everything is finishing at 10 frames. So as you can see right here, there's a marker at 10 frames, and a marker at 10 frames. So the original clip, you wanna create a marker at 10 frames, and then create a copy, and then create a third copy, which is going to be your freeze frame. But just make sure that everything is ending at 10 seconds. 10 seconds is the most important number in this entire effect because that is how long this effect lasts. So these two are just copies of each other in a compound clip and I'll show you why you want to create it in a compound clip in a second. But and then this is the third copy. As you can see it reads copy. Now let's go ahead and cut command R. As you can see right here, here is just a freeze frame. Now the reason the marker at 10 seconds is so important is because when I made the third copy right here, I created a freeze frame right here on this marker. That way it plays until 10 seconds. This is where the freeze frame ends and then it continues on with the video. So as you can see right here, the freeze frame is starting at the beginning of the video and then it ends exactly where the markers are and or ends at 10 frames that way the video can continue to go on and that is why 10 frames is so important the marker this is where the freeze frame is so the freeze frame starts at the beginning and ends exactly at 10 frames now like i said before this is a freeze frame as you can see right here hold and then what you're just doing right here is i'll click on the freeze frame you're basically not really doing much with this freeze frame all you're doing is you're creating a draw mask and you're just cutting out the subject now yes i did i didn't really put a draw mask there i didn't really think it was that necessary but as you can see right here, here are the draw masks. So you wanna go over here to mask and then the draw mask. So this is cut out using a draw mask and then I cut out this one using a draw mask. And that's pretty much it right there. You just need to cut out the freeze frame, which is just the subject. So that is the important part. Now what you wanna do is you wanna open up the compound clip. Now you wouldn't have a compound clip at this step, but this is just a breakdown. So you'd, basically what you're doing is you're, you don't have a compound clip yet, you just basically have these two clips. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna hold down to this, this second clip right here. And as you can see right here, the position is moved at 1942. So I'll go ahead and just move it right here. And as you can see right here, it would be like over here and you just want to move it to 1942. Now because this is a 1080 by 1920, you're gonna have to move it all the way to 1920. That way it's right on the edge. Now you may ask yourself, what well, was it 1942? Well, because this isn't my video, the crop is gonna be a little off. So there's like an extra 22 frames on each side so I have to add an extra 22 that way that's why 1920 plus 22 would be 42 so it, but if, you, if it's your video if you actually shot 
about it than just put 1920 but if you're screen recording it the crop and the position may, may all be messed up so in this case I had to go to 1942 but a normal video you hold it 1920 or unless it's at a different dimension um, but most people probably shoot a video at 1080 by 1920 now what you want to do right here is these clips right here, I'll open up this compound clip right here, you want to select all of these clips right here and you want to create a compound clip. Now what you want to do with this compound clip is you want to start the position at zero right here and then you want to, or the x axis, and then you want to start the position at zero and you want to keyframe it. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the end of the compound clip and you want to change the position to negative 1942 because if it was over here it was 1942 but we need it to whip over to the left now basically what happens if you want to do the opposite direction will you move that other clip that top clip on the other side you need it whatever say for example you're whipping to the right you need a clip on the left that way you can whip it correctly so for this example we moved the second clip over to the right so we're going to whip to the left so the dimensions need to be the opposite but of course if you're going from the top or the bottom or you're going this way everything is going to be different but for this clip we're going to whip to the left so we need a negative 1942 so basically what we're going to do is i'm going to click on the position right here and this is basically how you create that whip so as you can see right here, the position, let's go frame by frame and watch the background right here. So we'll go frame by frame and as you can see right here, negative 600, negative 11, uh, negative 1300. And as you can see right here, the background is moving. So that's how you're creating this moving background right here. And as you can see right here, here is the second clip on top. And that's why you need to copy or else you're just going to have a black background so if all you're doing is just moving the position right there i'm basically just keyframing it right here and that's how you get the background to move right here and the freeze frame is not moving at all you're only moving the background that way it lines up and again the keyframe ends at 10 frames that's why i said 10 frames is such an important number to remember and there we go so you create a freeze frame and then you basically have the freeze frame go 10 frames and after 10 frames it lines it lines up with the video right here and the whip pan ends everything ends at 10 frames now i added an adjustment layer right here i'll see if i can get a good example of why i added the adjustment layer right here as you can see right here here is this line right here now i added an adjustment layer above the compound clip not above the freeze frame do not add it above the freeze frame you want to add it in but you want it you want to add it right above the compound clip right here let's go to the adjustment layer right here and then directional blur so you want to go to blur right here directional as you can see right here here is the directional blur right here now i'm going to turn off the directional blur and watch this line that splits the two clips so i'll turn it off right here and as you can see that's a lot harsher that line's a lot harsher but with this directional blur right here you can see that line is a lot more blurred obviously you're still going to see it because it's pretty much impossible to completely make it disappear but it makes it a lot more blurred now what you're going to do right here is you want to click on the clip click on the adjustment layer right here you want to change the amount to 220 320 420 whatever you want the highest number that you want but for this example I turn it to 220 I keyframed it then what I did was I went to right here 10 frames and I actually went two frames after the actual effect ended and then I keyframe the directional amount to zero right there and that's basically how you create this account so hopefully I didn't miss anything the main part here is this freeze frame right here and basically you're just having the freeze frame last 10 seconds you have these two clips right here which are copies of this freeze frame basically whipping to the left and you have some directional blur just to help just to help make it look a lot more seamless hopefully i covered everything and hopefully you got a good understanding of how to create this effect if you have any questions go ahead and leave it down 
in the comments below but i'm pretty sure i covered everything anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every single day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy watching these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button i also have a final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace Thank you.